So hi, I look at the photo album on my phone just now. And looking back at the past years, all the Octobers, five years ago and four years ago and three years ago, and I'm just comparing and trying to see am I in the best place that I've ever been? Have I grown or is this the best year? It should be because I would hope that I am growing older and wiser. And I, I shouldn't say it should be the best year, but I just want to just... I'm getting inspiration for myself to see where I want to be going. You know, I tend to do these reflections from time to time when my life just feels it needs a little re evaluation. I truly think that whatever I put my mind onto it will happen, so I always have to just be careful for what I wish for. Back when I first moved to San Francisco that August, I, was, I volunteered at this art event selling art, and the dress code was black dress. And everyone, when I went there, I wore this dress that is the only black dress, nice dress that I have, and it's kind of sexy, it's backless and everyone else were older and they were wearing black shirts and black pants just and I was the only one but then we had to wear an apron and we have to tie a red balloon in the back of our dress or pants and that night I made a lot of connection I guess the way I dressed just made me stand out I sold the most artwork of the night Everyone who wants to buy an artwork just came to me. And from that, I got two connections for art modeling job and a fashion modeling job. So I was modeling, I was going to art events, which honestly was something that I've been feeling that I'm missing out on. But now thinking about it, is that really what I'm missing out on? Is that what I want to manifest? The year after, I think it was the year, and also I was in art school and I started doing my YouTube. I was living in this, I was sharing a room with a roommate. It's a much worse living situation than what I have now. Not saying now is bad at all, it's just sometimes I still feel like I want something more since now I'm sharing an apartment but I have my own room. But back then, I was sharing a room. So I was doing YouTube regularly. And then there's one year where my mom visited and we were just hanging out in San Francisco. San Francisco is just much less intimidating compared to New York, I think. It's just like, it's just easier. I think New York is just like a huge beast in some sense. I don't know. But last time, when my mom visited New York. First of all, it's a little too short, I think. And second of all, there was just a lot happening when she visited. I got married. That was very crazy. But then there are a few years that's just like, I met my husband, boyfriend at the time. And we're just having cozy time together. We're living in the same city. And now we're not living in the same city. I think that is a big frustration of mine currently. I'm like thinking, is it really better? Like, am I really better being here? <laughs> but I'm just overthinking at this point. But what leads to all this sit down is that I do feel like I know myself the most that I have ever known me. Um, that's the one thing that is the best about like getting older. I have lived with myself the longest today. So the past years, I can't compare. Like I do know myself more and I really value that. So I know what I need, I know what, what to do to take care of myself, I know what I can do to bring myself back to the balance that I need. I think that's a big foundation, a very solid foundation. Honestly, today I was craving some escapism. 
I bought this honey wine two weeks ago. It put me to sleep. And I was reading. I was drinking. I was reading. And I read a few books and fell asleep, took a little nap, and had some sushi left over. And I was just in my head thinking about my life and missing the people I'm missing. But also know that grass is always greener on the other side. I know that I miss my family a lot. But I also know that I am here because I have a dream that this is what I want for my life. So I'm happy to be here. And some days I just really have to count my blessing and look at it. I just feel like I have the capacity to do more. And I know that making videos, connecting this way is the way to go. And I feel like I am a different, different version now. And there's no reason for me to be more afraid to show up because back then I just but you know there's it's a saying that goes Tu shen zhi tu bu pa hu means young bull or like a young cow just so clueless they're not afraid of the tiger it's like that I was just like I didn't have a clue so I was just like not concerned and now I'm way too concerned about things that I don't have to be so concerned about. I just see other people and I want to be like them. And maybe part of me is like, this is what will make me happy. But I know that it will come a point where I'm like, I've done that and I don't feel it anymore. But right now, this is what I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? I want to show up and I want to connect with people and I'll be able to like attract the people because I'm not putting myself out there now so it's just like what I want to create and not overthink it and want to make it into something much of what people want from me and what values I can give or like if it's useful or inspirational I just want to make things and be free want to show up just in my authentic self and connect in this way. I think I'm craving for connection and it's like a recording of my life, like a visual diary. I like looking back at these and even if I don't post it, I still enjoy looking back at it. So yeah.